So, you guys, I received this in the mail today, and I just want to show you guys. Um, it's a humidifier. Mama, sit beside me. You can open it with me. It's a humidifier. I didn't say sit in front of me. I said sit beside me. It's a humidifier, and you guys know, uh, just in case you don't know, if you've been watching my vlogs, Miss Bandy is sick. So, we definitely needed one of these, especially in a room when she's sleeping. So, it's really, really nice. I want to say that this is pronounced IT Vanilla. That's how... <laughs> That's how I think it's pronounced. Um, that's how it looks. I'm actually gonna show you guys. I'm gonna take it out the box. So, um, I the company is you. yes, ma'am. The company is on Amazon, and it's a three-in-one filtration. It's whisper quiet. It's child brandy, child safety lock, and it um has a comfortable LED night light. So this is something really really nice. Like I said, I'm gonna keep it in the room. For Miss Bandy. So let's open it up, Miss Bandy. Alright, so it comes with the manual. Time you open it up. There's the manual right here. Y'all, I'm asking. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I'm asking y'all. I'm gonna wash my hands all day. He'll take that out for me. Okay. Alright, so let's check out this little tire. A moving Let's see. Oh, can you lift it up? Can you lift it up? <laughs> okay, let's do this. Watch out. I'm trying to hold you guys and do the humidifier at the same time. Mama, not so hard. Brandy, my finger. All right. So here it is. It's really, really nice. Um, it looks really sleek. Really like modern. It has the cord that you plug into the adapter cord. That plugs into it. Mama. Huh? Okay, that's enough with the box. She's having too much fun with the box, you guys. And on it, it has live healthy, live better. And on the top, it has the filter settings, the lock, the speed, um, LEDs. I guess you can adjust the light and, of course, the on and off. Now, how it works, I'm going to have to show you guys exactly how it works. I'm not quite sure yet, so I'm going to do a little bit of research and I'm going to show you guys how it works. But I just want to show you guys how it looks, unboxing it. And yeah, I'll show you guys exactly how it works once I get it set up and everything. Okay, you guys, so I think I'm going to put my humidifier up on my dresser. But for the purpose of this video and getting it set up, I'm going to just show you guys me setting up right here. Because I need to get an extension cord to plug up on my, um, my, and put up on my dresser and stuff. So, we're going to go ahead and get it set up. And you guys, I'm going to show y'all me setting it up. So, a couple things I do want to tell you guys about it is that it is 90, it kills or removes 99.97% of airborne pollution as well as filter out any small like um, pollen, dust, mold, pet dander. It also, you guys, removes odor from like cigarette odor, um, a cooking smell, any chemical smells. It removes odors. So I really do like that and it's lightweight and I love the size of it. And I told you guys previously that I love the look of it. I love how sleek it looks. I'm just trying to get it out of the box, y'all. Y'all know the struggle. Alrighty. So now that we have it out of the box, I'm about to open up the direction so I can see exactly how to put water in and all that good stuff. And I'll just show you guys, you guys can look with me while I'm looking at the directions. Brandy is insisting on being involved, you guys. She wants to be involved. So it says, should not allow to operate the humidifier, of course, the air purifier. So um, it says, should be able to twist this off, right? So it okay, it tells you which way to twist it, and the top part comes off. So we're going to do that. Um, take away the plastic bag, okay? All righty. So let's try, you guys. Let's let's see. direction said which was very simple as you guys can see so now it's lighting up on for me or well, yeah on for me let me make sure I'm looking at the directions y'all I don't want to tell y'all the wrong thing when it comes to setting it up so y'all be able to set y'all's up so press it on and you can set the speed so Brandon close the door so we can see if it loud or not close the door 
So this is nighttime, as you guys can see. Let's see if we're gonna change the scene. And it's a little bit louder there. And then we can increase the speed again. All right, so it has the different speeds. So probably during the daytime, if you wanna run during the daytime and it blows out kind of warm air, not bad at all. But if you wanna change the speed, you just press this button. Nighttime I have it on that. All right, mama don't touch nothing else. So LED gives me a light. And you can make it brighter, watch out mama. Or turn it off. So that's the low. That's high, and I'll probably have it on high. All right, and then for Brandy, how do you like it? Let's see. All right, for, see? <laughs> Turn on the light and lock. Hold it for three seconds. All right, and it is locked. Come try to press it, mama. Huh? All right, and this right here, this thing right here, it will light up when the air filter needs to be checked, replaced, and if anything. Hi, um, it's going wrong, you can press that button. I mean, it'll light up for that button. Try to press it, mama. All right, so it's locked. Kids safe, you guys, kids safe. So I'm really, back up mama a little bit so we can see it. So I'm definitely gonna test it out tonight, you guys. So far, nothing but good things to say about it. This is really gonna help Miss Bandy. Okay, let me take this plastic off. Yeah, I'm just taking this plastic off. Okay, it's really gonna have Miss Bandy as well as me breathe at night. You guys not have carpet, so y'all know carpet holds a lot of dirt. Um, so I'm super, super excited about it, you guys. So just want to share with you guys this product. All the links will be listed below. It's really affordable, and I think it's a good thing to have, especially when you have kiddos in the household, as well as if you just have pets in the household. I think it's something good to have. And also, if you wanna get this for like your mom or your dad for the holidays, mom, you gotta back up. For your mom or your dad for the holidays, I think it'll be a great buy. I think it's a great gift. So because how I got my papers, I have a lot of papers in my glove for me, you guys. A lot of important papers that my dad told me to keep in the car, so I just leave in the car. I have a lot of papers in there. So, um, if you want to look through there, you gotta, you got to pull out the papers out. And Brandy coat was thrown in the front seat, but I figured maybe Michael threw her coat in the front seat. Okay. So, nothing is missing, not that I can see. And it ain't nothing still unless they want to steal papers out my car. But, I, I, I can't remember if I told you guys or not. I cannot remember, but when Michael was staying at my house for a little bit of time, um, this guy had came up to me and asked me was we 
in our car like early that Friday morning or Saturday morning. He's like somebody had tried to break in his Jeep and the Jeep that he got, it has like the plastic on the back and he said he'd seen where somebody cut his plastic. So I was like, no, you know, not that I know of. I was like, let me ask Michael. So I asked Michael and Michael said, no, nothing went missing on his car. So neither one of us, well, Michael will leave money in his car, but neither one of us really leave anything valuable in our car besides Michael and I keep getting him about leaving money in his car. So, um, another lady, I mean, that guy said his girlfriend, Trump, was open. I'm not sure one of them. But said his girlfriend, Trump, was open. And, you know, I guess nothing was missing, but it was open. So, a couple weeks after that, we came home. Now, I said, this was a Friday, right? Yep. We came home on a Friday, y'all. The police was out there. The police was out there because somebody tried to break the man glass. So, the police was out there looking at the glass. I don't know if it was a man or a female. I don't know. I don't want to say the wrong thing, but it was two guys standing out there, the police officer. So I'm thinking it was a male or maybe the girlfriend. Um, let's stand out there with the police and talk to the police about the car. And I thought it was my neighbors that live beside me, but I think it was the people in the other building. So this morning, like as I get up, normally I lock my car doors. Michael, when he took Brandy last night, he said he got the car seat out of the car. And he told me to lock the door back. I didn't hand that part. I probably already had the door closed because it was so cold last night. So long story short. I try to keep my doors locked, but my doors wasn't locked yesterday. And for that purpose, that's why every time, I, even if I go home on lunch break, excuse me, I lock my doors. Excuse me. Even if I go home on my lunch break, I lock my doors. And last night, I don't know what happened, y'all. I guess I didn't hear Michael and I didn't lock my doors, but I don't care if somebody was trying to take somebody out my car. I don't like the idea of somebody being in my car. And that neighborhood is a really, really nice neighborhood, like, a really nice neighborhood, especially when I first moved out there. And I heard whenever we came home, and the police was out there, my neighbors under me and over, the um, girl who I believe sent that letter to me, put that letter on my doorstep, her boyfriend, was out there talking to a couple, um, the same couple that told us that they still got broken into it. He was like, yeah. Um, this is what I walked up on. He's like, yeah, man, because ain't nothing just started happening until he moved in. When he moved in about, what was it? Three, he said three, I can't remember if he said three days ago or three weeks ago. Three weeks ago or three days ago. He's like, that's when all this started happening. Before anybody moved in, nothing just happened, man. We ain't had no break-ins or nothing. Like, this was a cool neighborhood. So, I don't know who they were referring to, but apparently it's somebody who lived out there or maybe somebody who lived out there, family member who was taking that point except to just walk and open people car doors and that's what Mike said he's like it must be just walking around open car doors to see who doors unlock <sighs> anywho like I said ain't nothing missing but while they was in here they could have cleaned up my car a little bit threw away the trash that's in here they could have did that part um that would have helped us sister out but yeah I'm glad I did not leave any money in here but like I said I don't leave money in my car I, I I try not to leave money in my car. I try not to leave nothing in my car. I did have these two um, envelopes. But these were from when I went to go pay my rent. I took out money. Sorry, y'all. This is when I went to go pay my rent. I took out money. But... Mom, what's this thing? Is that huh? What's this thing? Flat? I can't remember. Because I don't remember this thing being flat. It probably wasn't money. Excuse the cup of my floor. I want to show y'all how my glove department is. So, like, when you try to open my glove department, you got to pull, like, all these papers down. So, my glove department was like this. That's what I meant. So, they got my sweet tea, y'all. They were out of stock earlier. I got my tea. So, I might leave on out of Walmart. <laughs> like I said, I'm frustrated, y'all. I think I'm going to get me a muffin, though, because it's the cheapest thing in here. So, I think I'm going to get me a muffin. Put the flowers on, Mama. Me and Brandy doing matching flowers. Brandy? Put your flowers on. This is why I spend my lunch break doing you guys. Calling Brandy. What you eat? Ooh, bring me one. Call me back after you eat, okay, mama? I see. Call me back when you can finish eating. Call me back. Call me back, pretty girl. I can't, Brandy. Bye, Brandy. Bye. I see, Mama. That look good. Go ahead and eat. Yeah. 
Yeah, she was standing the phone the whole time, y'all. Mm. Y'all want to show y'all this really quick because I forgot to show y'all the last time when I told y'all I ordered the car with the kids photo on it. This is my debit card here. And the kiddo faces are so cute. <laughs> yeah, y'all. I know. I'm that mom. <laughs> we're at little caesars i'm tired you guys so i just came out to pick up some dinner really quick just a quick five dollar pizza um and i see they got like some cinnamon something for five dollars so i think i'm gonna get that um i was gonna go home and cook tonight but i didn't go home on my lunch break to get um to take the pork chop out so being i didn't take the pork chop out that means it have to unthaw and all that so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just take it out tonight and we'll have that for dinner tomorrow because i'm tired I let you guys see how I look outside. Like it's raining. It's been raining like this since my lunch break. I went to the bank today. I had to go to the bank. Had to go to the bank today for my job. Because that's part of my job description to go to the bank sometimes and make deposits. So I had to go to the bank and um it was so messy, y'all. Like it was just so messy. And it's still messy out here. So it's 525. I asked Michael to bring Brandy home. I think I'm gonna start letting him bring Brandy home in the afternoon, especially when it's dark like this, only for the simple fact. Of I don't want to be getting out um, at nighttime with the kiddos, and what I mean is like I don't want to have to get Brandy out and Dante out and the pizza or bags or whatever out the car at nighttime. And y'all see how early it gets dark, so it's only 5:30 and it's dark. So yeah, because I think I'm gonna start having him bring Brandy home in the afternoon, whether he wants to or not, since I drop her off in the mornings. But just want to check in with you guys. So I'll see y'all once we get to the house, um, and then Brandy and they should be coming shortly. So the princess is here. Act like a wild child. Why is her stuff all on my floor? Pick your stuff up, mama. Boogie, come on. So I gave Dante 30 minutes of downtime because he claims when he came in the house, he the only kid who has to come straight home and study. So I give him 30 minutes of time to just lay down, chill out, do his own little thing. He's supposed to be laying out because he claimed he was so sleepy. Brandy, pick up your stuff, mama. Dante, come on, man. You 10 minutes late. Is that a 10 minutes on your time? Mama, put this in the room. Y'all yeah, liking that humidifier so far, you guys. You, you, you bad. You a handful. So, me and Michael, well, Michael got here to drop Brandy off. It was some stuff out there in the parking lot, you guys. I ain't paying no attention. Michael looks at it, so Michael's like, you know a car caught on fire? And I'm like, no, it ain't. He was like, yeah, that's what all that stuff is out there. I'm like, you kidding me? He's like, no, a car caught on fire. And he was like, um, you could tell it was a car. He's like, because it's glass. And I was like, oh my Jesus, y'all. As long as somebody don't go in my car again, we cool. Stay out of my car. Decided man, stay out of my car. <laughs> but once I got to work, you guys, my supervisor, she was like, I could tell something that's wrong. She's like, what's wrong? You wanna talk about it? So I was like, no, I'm fine. She was like, no, Brittany, seriously. She's like, I'd rather you talk about it. And for, for the type of work that I do, it, it once you got, when I finally tell you guys where I work at, you will kind of understand. You understand why she kept saying that or whatever. Anywho, so she was like, just you know, tell me what's wrong. You know, maybe it's something I can help with. So I was, I was like, well, it, I said it just seems like there's a lot going on. I was like, I woke up with a headache, so I, I probably looked it sad. I don't know. I said I woke up with the headache, and since I wasn't feeling good, I was like, and then I was trying to transfer money to my bank account so that I could pay not to have the school care and I need to pay that like as soon as possible and I know I shouldn't let that get to me but it did get to me and also with the whole thing with me getting to my car my door open my glove department open I don't know what these people don't did in my car I just know that my stuff was open and I'm hoping that they didn't steal anything out Michael checked my car again too whenever he got here he checked it but I'm like it just a lot so she was like girl she's like i understand she's like well do you want to go home for today and i was like no ma'am i sound fine she's like because i know how it is when you have a migraine my headache started last night i think i told you guys that this morning my headache started last night and it just got worse like i don't know how it got worse but it just got worse 
And she was like, did you take anything for her? I said, no ma'am, I left my medicine because I was rushing. So she was so sweet, y'all. Now I say, put your sister down, go stop her water. And you ain't brought no book bag or nothing around here. So she was like, um, she was like, you sure you don't want to just take the day? She was like, you know, we don't mind. She was like, I, you know, I don't want you here. You know, you got a lot going on and you know, you weren't. And she was so sweet about you guys. She was like, um, she was like, because at the end of the day, how we treat you is how, we, how we want you to, not how we treat you. How did she say it? She was like, we care a lot about our employees and the people who work here. She was like, so it matters. She was like, if you got a lot going on and you know. Okay, mama. And she's like, you don't feel good. She was like, girl, we understand. She was like, some days we have so much stuff going on. She was like, and then some days, she was like, we have so much stuff going on. So we call out and, you know, we trying to get our business out. And I was like, no, ma'am. I said, it's not worth it. And she was like, okay, now if you change your mind and a little later on you decide you want to go home, stop you just let me know. Like, she was extremely sweet about Brandy. it. And I was like, no, Brandy, stop, Brandy. And I was like, no, I'm fine. You know, I was like, I just appreciate you letting me vent because sometimes. You just have to vent. So I was like, I just appreciate you let me vent. And she was like, girl, no, no problem. She was like, you let me know. Buddy, stop. So, yeah, that was my day, you guys. What's in that box, Mom? The humidifier. Hello? Oh, I'm Jimmy. Uh, I'll be right back, y'all. So, anywho, you guys. But um, I'm going to go ahead and out the ball. But come, come here, Buggy. I know you guys see him earlier, but did y'all see his face? <laughs> Did y'all see his face face? I know y'all seen this face. Show nose. Okay. Oh, mama, you got boogers. <laughs> you got boogers. All right, they seen your pretty face. So let's hold you at an angle so they can't see your boogers. Your dry nose. Go get a washcloth. Go get that pink washcloth off the table. Brady, stop that toothbrush. Come here, man. Get that pink washcloth, mama. Mama, go get a washcloth. That's it. Don't pull on her. Say hey, man. Hey. So how you doing? Am I paying So Dante did change his mind from a laptop to a PlayStation 4, and then when Michael told him he can't pay Fortnite on the on a laptop. Yes, I, we can. I need. We're gonna have to Google it. We buddy. can play on all different kinds of plays. I'm gonna have to Google laptop. it. Why are you over there talking? Why are you over here talking? Hmm? Why are you over here talking? Anywho, you guys, so I'm going to go ahead and knock the vlog here. You guys know how Mondays are, so we'll see you guys tomorrow. But come say bye, buggy. Say bye, mama. Bye. Come on, go take my bath. And me and Boogie about to study. Brandy, put your arm down and let Boogie get it. Bye. Brandy. Stop, mom. Stop. Dante, don't grab her bye. arm. Let go her bye. arm. Brandy, it can't always be only about you, okay?